Thanks for checking out the video. Um, my last video, I talked about and actually changed position that I formerly held. I recorded a video a few years back where I said you should never use a USB microphone for voiceover work, which at that point in time was very much true. Uh, but the technology has evolved quite a bit over the past several years. And now there is a new breed of USB microphone that I would argue is studio quality. And uh, as a matter of fact, I often suggest especially for newer talent as they're getting started, is that they should seriously consider using a good USB studio mic because, uh, A, it can be more cost-effective than using, like, for instance, my everyday mic here is a Neumann TLM-103. Not the most expensive mic on the market by any means. I mean, you can spend thousands, $5,000, $8,000 or more on a mic if you want to. I, I would argue that the, the edge that it would give you would be probably non-existent. Uh, this is a $1,000 microphone, whereas the microphone, uh, a USB mic that I own and that I do use on occasion and that I recommend is an, the Apogee mic, M-I-C. This is the second generation of the mic, and a new third generation just came out, which, as I understand, has a port for, a, uh, for like a headphone jack on it. Um, however, I w would think that any of the three Apogee mics would be uh, a pretty good mic to start off with in voiceover. As a matter of fact, you could probably use it for a good long while. I would say it's so good that most clients would not really know the difference if they were listening to this or that. Now, a good studio engineer would be able to tell the difference, but I think the, the average client probably not so much. But don't take my word for it. The purpose of this video is I'm going to record, um, I have an audition script, very brief. Um, I'll record using the Neumann, and then I'll uh, come back with the Apogee mic, and I'll talk for a few moments and record the same audition, just a couple of sentences, with this mic. Listen with some good headphones, earbuds, um, good studio monitors, and see what you think. Now, the purpose of this is I'm not going to give you a spectral analysis. This is not going to be, uh, you know, a lot of engineer speak. And um, what this is, is something for you to, to listen to objectively. And if you are a client, the question is, would you, is there enough of a difference that it would matter to you? I'm not saying these two microphones sound exactly the same. I'm not saying they, they are the exact quality. What I am saying is I don't believe this microphone sounds $800 better than this microphone. I think this does a really good job. And um, I know some guys, you know, A-list guys who, who use this mic and do some pretty high-level work with it as well. So with that being said, here is the audition script. Again, I'm reading with the Neumann TLM-103. The Casper Wave mirrors the natural shape of your body at 36 specific points for deeper, more restorative sleep. So the moment you fall on a Casper, it falls for you. And I just realized I left my studio door cracked. Didn't mean to. Uh, I'll close it for the next one. But again, like I said, this is not highly scientific. It's just for you to get a casual uh, listen at both to see what your initial impressions are and see if you don't believe that this microphone is pretty darn competitive. All right, now we move on to this test. And now I will be using the Apogee Mic MIC 96K. This is the second uh, generation. There's a new third generation that just came out that includes like a headphone outlet that you can use. Um, I think for voiceover purposes, I think either of the three microphones would probably work just fine. Um, but you can test them out yourself. But this is the Apogee, uh, again, mic 96K, second generation. And, um, and now here is uh, the, the same short audition script I read with Neumann just a few moments ago. The Casper wave mirrors the natural shape of your body at 36 specific points for deeper, more restorative sleep. So the moment you fall on a Casper, it falls on you. So again, um, go back and listen back and forth between the two using some good headphones, earbuds, or uh, monitors. Again, not to say or not for the purpose of seeing if one sounds exactly the same as the other or if this is as good or better than the Neumann. Obviously, it's not at the same level. But again, my, my point is I don't think there's an $800 difference in the sound. And the, really, the only question you should be asking yourself is how will clients perceive it? And I think um, 
with this mic, I think you can make a good argument that uh, most clients will be very, very happy with the sound that they get. And of course, you know, you can always do your own tweaking and processing of your audio afterwards to get precisely what you want in terms of EQ and compression and such. So thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and talk to you soon.